Hey everybody, today a little bit of a different video. Today I'm going to take you behind the scenes of filming some WWE action figure content and we're going to do a super kick today. The Jimmy Uso Elite just came in. I got a Randy Orton and we're going to go all the way from filming to editing to adding sound effects in this video. Okay, so we're going to start off with the pose um, where, you know, the super kick is not really coming yet. The wrestlers are just kind of getting into position. So we're setting up Jimmy here and we're setting up Randy. I'm filming this, by the way, on the camera I usually use for my entrances because I'm actually going to film it as well on my iPhone where I usually film my action with all the time. You'll see that here in a bit. But yeah, we got the pose pretty much set up. I'll get the stance here out of the way. And uh, here you have a look how it looks right now. I uh, film from the floor a lot because I think it looks good. It looks like how New Japan films their stuff. And I put it here on the tripod because, um, you know, it just keeps me, uh, uh, lets me have a consistent angle. Like it's like one cameraman filming this shot. So now second of all, we have to set up uh, Jimmy Uso uh, who is going to go for the super kick now. So he's actually gonna start throwing it. Now, of course, it's gonna be very difficult or maybe impossible to stand the figure in a position like that. So this is where the uh, display stand comes in. And see, it immediately stands. It's not always as easy, but um, this one went pretty well. And now we gotta uh, pose Randy a little bit, like he's seeing that kick coming and um yeah we gotta set him up and um yeah basically him of awaiting getting super kicked right in the face and um yeah i think that looks pretty good now we gotta take our second shot here i always take videos you can see here as well you can see the display stand so we're just gonna zoom in a little bit like a, a regular cameraman would do as well right um they would zoom in and out and stuff so that is fine and you can see like i'm, I'm having kind of difficulties like this tripod is giving me a hard time there but um yeah we got the shot and we're gonna take that and uh, for the shots, I always take videos. I don't take photos because somehow they look better um, on the iPhone at least. Um, video looks better and especially if you wanna do a mix of video and photos, it's gonna look kind of off. So everything here is just going to be video. And now we actually got to pose Randy in a way where he feels the effects of that super kick. So we're going to use a stand as well so we can uh, lean him backwards a little bit. And then we obviously got to stretch out the leg of Jimmy Uso here to hit him right on the chin where it's supposed to go. Um, you know, a lot of the time the wrestlers in reality, they hit kind of near the chest, but you know, we don't have to worry about hurting anyone here for real. So we can make it more um, realistic as in actually kicking into the face. Um, yeah, let's set that up. You know, you can see it's not always as easy, but you wanna make it look good. And um, yeah, I think this one looks pretty decent. Let's take a look at it from the floor. Yeah, it looks great. You can see there's a little bit of stand showing um, underneath, but we can edit that out later. So we'll edit as well in the end of the video. So you can see all that. Let's get this shot in here. And yeah, let me get in the shot. Now, this is the problem with this other camera that I'm using to film right now the one that i'm actually holding here right now is that it has a hard time focusing so that is also why i only use it for the entrances and now we're gonna want um randy to sell the thing you know fall down what i'm go been doing lately is to still keep the foot up because usually they you know they kick and the foot is not immediately back on the ground so you want to have uh jimmy hold it um Hold the foot in the air for a little while Randy takes the bump. 
which by the way, we're going to use a video for that just looks better, in my opinion, for the bump to use video instead of the pig fat style. So yeah, um, I'm giving you here another angle, um, actually from the camera that's set up to film the action. And you can see like sometimes it's kind of hard. Um, joints can be kind of loose around the ankle. So like it's kind of hard to balance at times. But um, yeah, it works. It works out here in the end. And now we got to take the stand off of Randy because we're actually going to film him taking the bump. So we would see his stand otherwise in the frame uh, when we when we have him take the bump. So we're not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to hold him by the hand up here. And now uh, we're going to keep the angle, but I'm going to do handheld now because I got to follow Randy once he falls down onto the onto the mat. So you can see we have the uh, Jimmy display stand out of the way and there goes Randy. So uh, Randy uh, fell now. You'll see it more in editing later how it looked and stuff like that and how we um, how we hide certain things. But now uh, we want to take a little bit of a um, reaction from Randy who uh, fell onto the mat and now he's gonna sell that super kick a little more. You can see like I'm gonna go in there from another angle um, from, the, from the other side basically to film Randy's reaction to that, that super kick. And um, yeah, we also got to now take a shot of Jimmy here. Um, just, you know, Jimmy like looking at what he's done and getting ready, thinking about the next move or whatever. That's what I'm filming right here. And now I think we can get ready and add everything into iMovie, which I used to edit. Okay, we got everything in here that we need to edit. So. First off, what we want to do is these um, pig fat style um, animations, however you want to call it. I don't really care. Like some people always go, it's not pig fat, it's not stop motion. What, whatever you want to call this, whatever I do on the channel is fine with me. Um, but yeah, we want to get these pig fat style uh, videos into 0 0.4 seconds each. So, you can see that looks kind of how it's supposed to look. We got to in the end edit out this little display stand there. Um, so we're gonna crop it a little. Um, yeah, just so you don't see the display stand. And yeah, there you go. And now I got to find the file of uh, where Randy took the bump and I got to cut that out. See, there's no hand really shown. You can see Randy just fall. I'm just going to cut it out as closely as possible because I see people often like, you know, stuff kind of like doesn't look like it's smooth. Like you can see like people are holding the figure and then film them fall. You just want to pretty much edit that out and just film the fall. And it looked kind of fast, so I'm going to slow it down to 80%, and I think that should look good. Yeah, okay. Now we have Randy, uh, Randy's fall, and we're going to add in the Randy's little cell here that I filmed as well that you saw. And um, yeah, we're going to edit that, and you can see a finger a little bit in the end, so we're going to... We're going to edit that out as well. We're going to just like with the display stance, go in a little closer. And yeah, they're also on Jimmy. We just get in the shot. And yeah, that's pretty much what it takes to film. I would say a pretty decent looking super kick. Now, finally, we like I said, we're going to as well do this little thing here on Randy to make sure that the fingers are not actually showing. Okay, that's fine. And there you got Jimmy. Okay, now the final thing we got to do is we got to make this come to life and add in sound effects. And that's uh, where I feel like most fetters out there, they're lacking. But I got like a thousand sound effects in here over time. And yeah, it just takes a whole lot of work to find them. Like. 
and nobody's going to gift them to you because it's just like so much work to find them and yeah this is like days and days of editing so this is my favorite crowd sound that I just put in the background and then I gotta find a strike I have ton of strikes um, by wrestler or regular ones like this one this is one of my favorite ones um, because it has such a good reaction from the crowd and these types of things are incredibly rare to find so um, yeah I'm gonna add that one in there gonna add it in where you can see the sound from the kick coming in exactly where the foot of Jimmy hits Randy's um, Randy's jaw there you go nice super kick um, with the sound even better right okay now we're gonna move on and add in a little bump. You know, there's a couple of, I, I mean, I have a of bump, different sound effects. So I'm just gonna take the one that I feel like is closest to the bump that Randy took. Uh, I'm gonna turn off the volume of the video itself. So it just ends up being there with the bump sound effect. And there you go, there you got a super kick pretty much, um, yeah, all the way from the start till the end. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this little video. I just did it because I had nothing to do. I'm waiting for some customs and some voiceovers. So I had nothing to do. So there it is, the final result, the super kick from Jimmy to Randy Orton. Hope you enjoyed.